hi this is Mickey Sunshine Creates and I'm Mickey welcome to my channel I am doing an unboxing a uh, little at bit of time of a s cartons that were in are, are in my storage room I used to make jewelry and I had a complete studio and when I moved to this apartment mm, too tiny I don't have a I don't there's no extra room for a craft room or a studio so these have been sitting in a storage box, in a storage room for years. However, I want to do these unboxings so you can see what I had. Uh, and if you want to buy everything, anything, everything is for sale. Um, I will at one point or another start listing uh, all the things that are there that I have that I, unless, as well as I can because <laughs> it ain't easy honey <laughs> this this box contains crimps metal beads and half drilled at least that's what the label says on the side because I did label okay we're going to start in the back left here uh, this is what's in that container that spot these are all brass um these are what you call bicone, and they're very pretty. And you can even get crystals in this shape. Yeah, there you go. If I, I'm using my autofocus so we can get nice close-ups, but it's gonna go in and out every once in a while. I can't control that. But those are bicones, and they're pretty. Here's a barrel bead, a little bit bigger. I'm not sure how uh, big these are by centimeters. Uh, I guess I can measure them, but another time. Uh, these, as you can see, these have a little ridge around them. Mm, nice. Uh, these, are, I love these. These are cute shape, and I've used these before. Um, they're little rectangles, but they have curved edges. So you've got curved edges on the rectangles, but the beads are, they shine, they make a beautiful shine, as you can see already. And I love brass. Brass, yeah. Brass is a great substitute uh, if you can't afford gold. Because <laughs> this in gold, oof, definitely out of my reach. <laughs> These are another barrel shape. But these are cut. Uh, now, I don't know if they're actually cut individually. They may. Or if they're molded. I think they're cut individually. You know, by machine, of course. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so cheap. But I like these, too, because the light flickers around them. And here is a rondelle with a rather large center. Yep. Rondell is round, curved, and flat, as you can see. When it goes on, it you see it's much thinner, and they would, one after another, it, it makes for a beautiful breakup, a beautiful, you know, you put five there, and they just make a beautiful transition. Next on the agenda <laughs> are some of my favorite beads. I got a lot of these. Um, they're all separated by color and by size, but these are called Stardust. Um, and th they're just, they're beautiful. Um, this is an eight millimeter. Whoop. Look at that. Look at the way that twinkles. It does, it's stardust, it's dusted, and it's glittery, and it really is beautiful. And this is a rose gold. This is also rose gold, but this is a 10 millimeter. Mm, see the difference? Eight, 10. But they're both rose gold, they're both stardust, and they're both beautiful. <laughs> We also have the rose gold 
Stardust beads in six millimeter, which is the larger one, and four millimeter, which is the smaller one. Let's see what else we have. Uh, I'm not going to be taking these out of the bag because you've already seen what they look like, just the different colors. We have a four millimeter in silver. Look at that. Oh, oh, I love that. Come on, come on. There we go. We have a five millimeter in silver. So pretty. Six millimeter in silver. Yeah, I went crazy. What can I say? Oh, there we go. Eight millimeter in silver, just like you saw in the rose gold. And a 10 millimeter, also in silver stardust. So we have different colors of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, that's not there. <laughs> Last but not least, we have gold. So we have 10 millimeter. I can't do that. 10 millimeter in gold, 8 millimeter in gold, 6 millimeter in gold, and 4 millimeter. <laughs> They're so tiny in gold. <laughs> And these really, really do shine. All the stardust, except for these, are either silver plated or gold plated. That includes the rose gold. These are sterling. No, these are gold. These are solid gold. Gold filled, I'm sorry. Uh, which contains more gold and is mm, more expensive, of course. This is a sterling silver. About six millimeter plain round gold, gold beads. Nothing special, just a few. Uh, this is a finding. This would be used with a secondary bead because you would put the bead in here, oops, and then wrap it through here. That's the bead goes in here, and then the string would go there, and you just crimp these tight. You can use them for beads or for uh, crystal beads, metal beads, or plastic beads, glass beads, whatever you want. These are little metal rondelles. Here's a little rondelle that has texture on it. Remember I said rondelle is round and curved but flat on either side of the where the hole is. Uh, this too is a rondelle. Uh, again, you need to string up a lot of these to make them look cool, but they make great transitions between certain beads and certain things that you want to do. These are also gold-plated rondelles. Man, I had a lot of those. Not, not, not many left. These are tiny. How big are these? Three by two millimeter. These are tiny, tiny, tiny. This is also a finding. Uh, this would be used at the end of a beading bracelet or something, you know, it's got some texture to it. Uh, and you can see there are little teeth on one side and you would squeeze these very tight with the strings or the ribbon or the, the leather or whatever it is that you're using as an end piece before you put on your clasp. Here are some round I guess you could call them filigree. Also gold plated. Six millimeter and this looks like an eight millimeter. These were used. <laughs> and I took them apart because I didn't like what I put them in. So it looks like you've got a, a, a 10 and an eight millimeter 
and these are about a six millimeter. But these are what they call filigree beads. Now, remember I showed you that, just showed you that clasp? Here's one in gold and a longer one. Oh, they're all sizes in here. And a longer one. And again, these would be used if you were doing beading bracelets with seed beads um, because they can grasp onto the strings and hold tight. More brass beads, gold plated. Uh, this is for a memory wire, whatever. They're three millimeter, they're teeny tiny, but they're pretty. Silver plated, uh, five millimeter steel. These are steel, look at the difference. They've got that beautiful dark shade coming out of them. Unlike the silver, which are almost shiny white. So these are solid steel. Nice. Okay, we have some more rondelles. <laughs> A mixture of beads in here. Just a mixture. Hey, what are you going to do? Here's some more rondelles. Um, this is aluminum sil silver. They're very lightweight. Uh, and again, they would make a very cool transition. But since these are thicker, you can use just one. But look at this. The side is cut. See that? Oh. So when you put the beads together, you get this pretty mirror effect on these beads. And there's a lot of them. Here's some of those clamps in silver, silver plated. Uh, here's a mixture of brass and gold plated beads. Um, antique brass, which is nice. Some bicones. A couple of rondelles. This is just a mixture. But they're so pretty. Here's some with, looks like rhinestones in them. These are crimps and crimp covers. Um, a crimp is when you have a single strand or a double strand, depending upon the size, you put this at the end of the bead and you use a needle nose to squeeze it tight to hold the bead in place or two strings or from the one coming from either side, you use the, you know, if you want to join them, uh, these are crimps and you, you know, pull them through, squeeze them tight. These on the other hand are crimp covers. Well, this isn't. This is, yeah, this is a crimp cover. Yeah. As you can see, I don't know if you can. Uh, let's see. These have, um, they're, they're U-shaped and they have the hook the, the round, the ring on the side. Here we go. You would take this, put it over the crimp, and gently, gently squeeze it closed. So it covers the mushed crimp <laughs> that you've put on very tightly because you don't want it to come off. Uh, and there, the, yeah, this one has a ring on it. What do they call this? Uh, bead tip ring gold plated side clamp and it's like I said it's meant to go over these crimps uh, here's one I'm not sure what this is <laughs> I'm assuming that when you pull this down after you get it on your string your memory wire or whatever you're, you're using um it makes a hoop, makes you know, makes a uh, a link. Uh, 
Maybe you put a little tiny bead in there. Because it does have, it is a cup. And it looks like you could put a seed bead in there. Don't ask me why I got some of these. I don't remember. Um, I got so much. I did use, I did try to use almost everything at least once. And here are some bigger crimp covers. Yeah. You can see that. It's a seat clamp, <laughs> but it goes over the crimp. So it makes it look nice. Okay, next container. These are half drilled. Um, half drilled means you, it, it's halfway done and you would put it in and maybe put a crimp to hold it in place. Um, I'm not sure how half drilled works, but it's only got one hole on one side and that's it. But these are real stone. This is a six millimeter malachite. Isn't that pretty green? That's a nice green. We've got a four millimeter tiger eye. We love tiger eye. I do. We have a six millimeter tiger, tiger eye. <laughs> Look at the way that shines. Oh, I love that. Here's a six millimeter black onyx. Now that is deep. So these are real stones. How about a six millimeter lavender amethyst? Oh, I love this. And we have a tiny four millimeter black onyx. Two more. We have a six to seven meter silver button cultured pearl. Uh, here's a four and a half to five millimeter white cultured pearl. See, some of the stuff I bought is real. Here are some more brass plated or brass or gold plated beads. They're metal. They are metal. So you have the smaller size and we have the larger size. It looks like a pumpkin. I love it bead tip. Silver plated side clamp. That's like the one we saw in gold with the little loop and you put this over the um, over a, a a crimp or a bead and you clamp it shut. It's it's like a crimp cover but it's one you would use at the end because it's got loops. Uh, this one is a true silver plated three millimeter crimp cover. We have some more crimp covers. Here are the crimps in silver. Little ones and bigger ones. See better this way. Ah, blocking the light. And, oh, more, oh, these, this is sterling silver. Sterling silver, this is for a very, <laughs> this is for a very thin wire. But this one is sterling silver. And that's, like I said, that's for a tiny wire. It's very thin. Here we have a more sterling silver beads. This is two by two. This is three millimeter crimp covers. How much big was this? This was a 1.1 1 .1 by 1.5 millimeter crimp. 
This is a two by two millimeter crimp. And here is a beautiful, and these are all sterling silver, uh, three millimeter crimp covers. I use sil sterling silver a lot. Uh, it's why most of my pieces were more expensive. I didn't want to use the cheap materials. And here, oh, see, this is how they come. <laughs> a string. More metal beads. These look like uh, three millimeter. There's barrel shaped gold and silver. Eh, these are okay. And this is brass. Also looks like uh, maybe three, four millimeter. Three millimeter corrugated rondelle, which means like that other one, you can see how it looks like a pumpkin. It's corrugated. And it's a rondelle because it's not a round bead. It's a flat bead. And this one is nickel plated. And this is a bead tip also. Like the ones that with the others that have the clamp and then the loop on top of it. These I love this. These are crimps. These are crimps. I used a lot. <laughs> uh, because I had to. I mean, I had a lot of... You want to hold a, a, a bead in place, you have to have a crimp that's going to hold it. You know? These didn't need a, a crimp cover because when you crimp them, they have a design. They're not just flat smushed. I have these in gold plated and in silver plated. I used a lot of gold plated and I used a lot of gold filled, but gold filled was more expensive. But that's it for this box. <laughs> Again, if you're interested in anything, um, there is a $10 minimum I'm going to do. That I know, at least. But let me know and I'll, you know, I'll give you prices. Hopefully, you've written down what you want. If not, just replay. And um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. It's, you know, this was an unboxing. I need to go through these. And I figure, why not show people what I got? But, in the meantime, be good, be nice, be kind, be wonderful, be safe. Do what you have to do to keep yourself and others safe. And until the next time, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and arrivederci!